the entities that actually provide jobs, that actually create jobs, right? Politicians don't create jobs. All they can do is take things away and pile on regulations that make it difficult for businesses to survive. And, um, you know, and you brought up a good point of why, why corporations and businesses are leaving the country to go to other places where there's less regulations. And, um, yes, while he can't, he can't, I don't think he ever says he can force companies and corporations to come back to the U.S. and employ them, but what he's saying is logically they will if they know they can survive here. And to do that, you have to free up the market. Government doesn't create wealth; it actually eats it up and distributes it in, usually, in very corrupt, wrong, and very inefficient ways. Now, a lot of our uh, liberal friends out there are probably saying, you know, well, here's what's wrong with capitalism, you know, because corporate welfare, as they call it, and all this, you know, corporate tax cuts and all that. Uh, that's, that's what creates the corruption. That's what drives the corruption. Folks, corruption is a product. Corruption needs to be bought. I don't care how much money you have, how wealthy you are. You can be Donald Trump, Robert Bill Gates, or Vladimir Putin, although he's not that rich, contrary to what some Western sources will tell you. I don't care how much money you have. If corruption is not offered, you cannot buy it. Who offers the corruption? Government. Government, the people that sit in the Senate, in Congress, in the White House, State Department, Department of Defense. That's where corruption comes from. When that product is offered, there will be takers. There will be takers. So please, let's stop about corporations creating the corruptions. Corporations take advantage of availability of the corruption.